we're always trying to roll out new tools and new ways to make your custom editors more useful and more customized for your project's needs. We've got a new tool to handle units and a new expression evaluator to make math in the inspector easier. Both of these are in our latest alpha build that you can get on the Odin Inspector website. Odin Inspector now has a unit attribute that allows the addition of units and unit conversions to your inspectors. If you're building simulations, working with scientific data, or just want to operate in units other than the default units, Odin now makes that a whole lot easier. To add units to our fields, all we need to do is add the units attribute and give it the type of unit we want to use. Unit types can be given by string or using the unit enum. By adding unit labels in the inspector, we can provide more information about what a value is or how big that value might actually be. And of course, we can go a few steps further than that. For example, if you have data that is recorded in centimeters or maybe in inches or feet, and you don't want to convert each and every value, Odin will now let you define the actual unit to be used in your code and a display unit that will be shown in the inspector. This means that you can enter your data into the inspector in one unit, but the value that will be serialized and used by your code can be in a different but compatible unit. All units are split into categories, and if you accidentally try a conversion between categories, Odin will display a warning in the inspector. For even more flexibility, we've given you the ability to change the displayed unit directly in the inspector. Simply right click on the unit's label, then change unit, and select the unit that you'd like the value to be displayed in. Odin can also convert units right in your inspector. For example, if the display unit is centimeters, but your data value is in feet, you can type the numerical value followed by feet, and Odin will convert the value automatically. As you type the unit, Odin will attempt to match it and show you the closest matching unit. On the other hand, if you don't want to allow the display unit to be changed, you can set the optional parameter force display unit to true. If you want a value to be displayed, but don't want the value to be changed in the inspector, you can set the parameter display as string to true. This could be useful for constant values, calculated values that depend on other fields, or as an additional debugging tool. The unit attribute also works with the attribute expressions, which we covered in an earlier video. These bring even more flexibility and power to the attribute. As a simple example, you could use a bool to toggle the inspector between metric and imperial units. In this example, the units used by the code doesn't change, only the units that the user sees in the inspector. All of the built-in units available with Odin can be found in the unit overview window, which you can get from tools, Odin, inspector, and finally, unit overview. The window will show you all of the categories each of the units in those categories, as well as the conversion factors and unit symbols. Additionally, you can type in your own value, such as 10 Odins, to see that length expressed in all other units in that category, making for a quick and easy to use conversion table. While we think we've got most, if not all the units you're likely to want or need, it's easy to add custom units as well. To do this, you'll need a static function that is decorated with the initialize on load method attribute. This attribute is in the Unity Editor namespace, so the class will likely need to be placed in an editor folder. We can then use unit number utility dot add custom unit to add a custom unit, including custom symbols, the unit category, and the conversion factor as a multiplier of the category based unit. The unit number utility class can be accessed in the serenix.utilities.editor namespace. Odin can now understand expressions written in numerical fields. All you need to do is add the add symbol and you can do things like at mathf.py to get the value of pi. It can also be used to call functions to calculate a frequently needed value. For example, you might have a static utility class with a function that returns the field of view angle based on desired width and distance. In our example, all you would need to type is at gameutils.calculatefov and then add in the two needed parameters. Odin also keeps a history of your expressions. Just type at and then use the up and down arrow keys to scroll through your past expressions and quickly reuse an expression or maybe edit an expression that needs to be tweaked. If you want to learn more about either of these new features, we'll put a link in the description to the preview notes. We're also looking for feedback, so leave us a comment down below or reach out to us on the Odin Discord.